addition. What was the difference? In substitution reaction, only saturated hydrocarbons can undergo. Which of the following will undergo substitution reaction? Or you will be given some reactant. Also, like which of the following will react with Cl2 to give a substituted product? Then what will you write? Only the ones which are following CnH2n plus 2 formula because that is the formula for saturated hydrocarbons. And all the others which are not following the formula will not undergo because they are unsaturated. And unsaturated hydrocarbons undergo addition reaction. So, so saturated substitution. A, uh, A. Uh, unsaturated addition. Now we have to learn about some important organic compounds. They are ethanol and ethanoic acid. Okay, before that, I also want to take a few questions from which are there after these reactions in your NCRT. So the first question on page 71, that is an in-text question. That why is conversion of ethanol to ethanoic acid considered as oxidation reaction? So I told you while we were learning in the reaction also what happened during the reaction from ethanol CH3, CH2, OH, you got ethanoic acid CH3, C, O, O, H. So compare the two formulas and check what has been lost, what has been gained. In this formula, you have 3 plus 2 plus 1. That is 6 hydrogens. In this formula, you have 4 hydrogens. 3 plus 1. Right? That means there has been a loss of 2 hydrogens. Or you can just say a hydrogen molecule. Right? And removal of hydrogen is what? Nothing but oxidation. Again, here how many oxygens are there? Only one. How many oxygens are here? Two. So what has happened? One oxygen has been increased. And addition of oxygen is also called as oxidation. So, both the definitions are of oxidation. That's how you can summarize the answer. There has been a removal of hydrogen molecule and addition of oxygen. And that is why it is also called as oxidation. Second question on the same page is... A mixture of oxygen and ethane is burned for welding. Can you tell why? A mixture of ethane and air is not used. So they are asking why ethane and air not used but ethane and oxygen is used. Now when they use ethane and oxygen there will be complete combustion and the whole thing will be burnt in the presence of oxygen giving out the right amount of energy, right amount of efficiency which is needed. Whereas here ethane and air because air has other particles, other dust particles, other gases. There are so many dust particles also. Air, which is the mixture, which is mixture of dust and so many other things. At that time, there will be a lot of soot particles. Soot can be produced in this case also because it is unsaturated. But here, it will be produced more in amount. And there will be so many other byproducts which are not needed. If byproducts are formed, the amount of energy produced will be less because a lot of air will be used up in forming the byproducts as well. Whereas here only whatever is desired, only that will be produced. So this will not give the proper efficiency or the proper energy which is to be given out by the fuel. Now let us talk about ethanol and uh, ethanoic acid. When learning about ethanol and ethanoic acid, we need to know what are they actually, their physical and chemical properties. When we talk about physical properties, we talk about the appearance, its physical constant. Physical constant means boiling point, melting point, because ethanol and ethanoic acid both are liquid in nature. So obviously we will be talking about their boiling points, right? And then um, their density, then their solubility, all these things will come in physical. Okay, so ethanol is also called as alcohol. And we know what is alcohol, right? Alcohol is nothing but a very active ingredient of many alcoholic beverages. The drinks, as we call them, right? The cough syrups, they contain alcohol. If it is present there, obviously it is there to cure you. But 
alcohols over consumption is not at all good because what alcohol does is alcohol uh, it depresses your nervous system that means it slows down the working of the nervous system if it is slowing down the nervous system your see nervous system that means the brain is going to control the whole body right and if that system has been slowed down obviously all our actions will be slowed down and we will be feeling sleepy and what actually drunkenness is you feel that you're in the other world and that's what gives you pleasure but the same thing is going to harm the whole body because you are hampering the functioning of your brain or the nervous system so why is it important to know the cons of consumption of alcohol because alcohol or ethanol is a very good solvent and that is why it is being used in so many products to mix a lot of contents right and because it is present in a lot of things one can get carried away and misuse that product and then obviously it is lethal to people lethal means it can kill you right and that is the reason they are also being denatured what is denatured we'll come to it later now let us talk about its physical properties and chemical properties the first thing that i want to tell you is it is liquid at room temperature rt is room temperature and it is a colorless liquid it is a colorless liquid at room temperature if you have ever seen kerosene with blue color or alcohol with blue color alcohol with blue color is actually made blue so that you don't use it for consumption that blue color is nothing but dye is the artificial or synthetic color and also it has a very pleasant odor its melting point is 156k and boiling point is 351k in degree celsius the boiling point is 78 degree celsius and the melting point will be because it is liquid in room temperature so obviously melting point means when it is solid and solid will be there only when it is at very less temperature because at room te room temperature if it is 25 or something if it is still liquid that means it has to be very very cold when it is solid 115 degrees celsius that is of minus then it is water soluble and it is a great solvent being an organic solvent it is soluble in water also it is used in medicines drugs or medicines like cough syrups and fuel also for sanitization and etc sanitizers has nothing but alcohol which is nothing but this ethanol now why are they using ethanol because it has the property to kill all the germs uh, with the heat of that rubbing it gets evaporated also faster so these are the physical properties of ethanol now we will talk about its chemical properties 